Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss our handwritten notes on survey. So first of all, the uses of survey. Survey is used to draw a topographical map, engineering map, cadastral map, military map, contour maps, and geological map with archaeological map. So there are seven types of map. We will go with one by one. Topographical map in which the top view is presented, and this top view is presented with the help of some reconnaissance survey. Engineering map is used for engineering projects like railroad, bridges, dams, airport, etc. Cadastral survey is used for to make boundaries of country, lands, and farms. Military map is used for defense strategy purposes. And contour maps are used when the ground undulation is very high. This you or this map is mainly used by engineers, and sometimes it is used by military purpose also for their strategic plan in the hilly regions. Geological map is used where geological data has been shown, and archaeological map shows ancient reliefs or the ancient sites. To their maps, classification is based on broadly two parameters. The first one is type of surveying, like plain surveying or geodetic surveying, and another is another classification is based on instrument, based on method, nature of field, object. So we will go one by one. The first one is based on instrument. Chain surveying, compass surveying, plane table surveying, thermite surveying, tachometric surveying, photographic surveying. This all type of surveying we will go with details when we cover this in respective units. The second type of survey is based on methods, triangulation and traversing. In the traversing survey, we connect series of line like this, A point. To B point, C point, D point, E point, F, and so on. This is an open traverse. If I close this, the type of survey is known as closed traverse survey. In case of triangulation, we convert our land of area. Suppose this is our land of area. This is the outer boundary of land of area. We convert this into number of small Triangles. Okay, so this triangles is done with the help of chain, theodolite, and tachometric. So these are the instrument by which we convert our survey land into number of triangles. The third is based on object. What is the objective of your survey? Like. Use for geological data, then it is known as geological survey. If we are using mining data, then the survey is known as mining survey, archaeological and military survey. We already discussed. Based on nature of field, there are three types of field. First one is land, sea, and atmosphere. So in land, the all type. Of survey, most of the survey uses on land. Then that is a marine survey for aquatic life and aquatic resources. And the third one is astronomical surveys, in which we are find our absolute value of celestial body from the Earth surface. There are few examples of land survey, like topographical, cadastral, and engineering. In the next point, we are going to discuss our principle of survey. There is two principle of survey. The first one says that you have to work from whole to part, not part to whole. To because when we doing our survey from whole to part, the accumulation of error will be neglected. And the second principle says that for location of new station, at least two measurements should be done. These two measurements may be linear. Or angular, based on the type of instrument. The third point says that in chain surveying, the position of main station 
and direction of main serving line is fixed by tie lines and check lines. Now, what are the tie lines and check lines? We will discuss in these two terms in our this figure. Suppose you have a land in a rectangular shape and you mark them A1, B1, C and D. Now what is A1 and B1? A1 and B1 are your main station. Similarly C and D are your main station. These main station are fixed by some different points which is well known and well defined. Those point is known as reference point. So from the reference point you uh, locate this all stations either in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction it is depend on you now the line drawn between the main station is known as main survey line so the main survey line are drawn with the help of green color and the technical way of representation of line is like this dash three point dash three point dash okay so the line which is longest between the two main stations is known as your baseline which is drawn by your blue color dark blue color okay so that is your baseline now i put station number two on baseline which is your subsidiary station and line drawn between main station and subsidiary station is known as check line but in the uh, in second triangle there is there is an obstacle which is in form of land river ponds some type of bridge so you cannot do uh, survey chain survey or on that obstacle so you you are moving to another station that is station number three which is located on main station or uh, main baseline and station number four which is located on main survey line so the these stations is known as tie station because these stations are not main stations and the line drawn between these two stations is known as tie lines so this is all about This is all about your subsidiary stations and tie stations. Okay. For remembering these two terms, subsidiary stations are the station which is drawn on any line, but the check line starts from main station, where in tie lines there is two different stations we have to draw on any of the line okay so this is all about this type of map is known as index sketch and this index is sketch is considered or drawn after the reconnaissance survey in this figure we are uh, define a, we are drawn some triangles like this triangle one triangle two triangle three so when we are convert our land area into number of triangles this process is known as triangulation we already covered this portion so here are the two alloys which is very useful for your surveyor surveying instrument as well as in your lab instrument the first one is brass brass it will not change its shape and size with a little variation in temperature so copper and zinc is the element for making brass and another one is bronze in which copper and tin is used with some other content like arsenic lead phosphorus aluminium magnesia magnesium and silicon this is all about today lecture in the next lecture in next lecture we are going to about linear measurement and the accessories by which we conduct our linear measurement this is all about today lecture Thank you so much.